Hi, Steve and Rafiki. Uh, my name is Austin from Austin Beat Media, and um, I, I just want to ask: um, w with there have been multiple attempts to uh, adapt Halo for a mainstream audience, like uh, Halo Nightfall, with which uh, Bokeem would find it also in. Um, so, what, what was it like adapting the universe, and what was that process like for either? Yeah, I mean, I can start and, and speak to Nightfall a little bit, um, which which had uh, Mike Coulter in it, who's who's a, a fantastic actor, and we're so lucky to have Bokeem in the series. Um, you know, I think Nightfall was a way for us, and same with Forward Under Dawn, to sort of dabble in live action and, and, and dip our toe in the water around um, bringing the world to life in live action. But they were also pretty narrow slices of the universe and, and pretty self-contained stories that were designed to support story in the game. You know, this is meant to be a standalone Halo experience. It's meant to be differentiated from the game experience so that we can give fans more and express the Halo universe in a really different and hopefully like rich and detailed and, and ambitious way. Um, and I think, you know, we learned, we learned a lot from those smaller experiences about what it does take to um, to to adapt visually the the universe, but I think what the what this um, series gives us is this long form storytelling, which is so critical to focusing on character development, which is something that is much harder to do in ninety minutes and much harder to do <coughs> in the same way in a, in in the games because of the first person perspective, um, and so this was really really a different a different beast. And it was fun. To Always answer, fun. To answer your question. <laughs> Always fun. Yeah.